Hey child and welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. Well, I mean, it really ain't been a long time, but it's been a long time since I actually recorded. So in this video, I kind of just feel like I haven't sat out and talked to y'all about stuff. Um, probably since my last surgery update. So I said, let's talk. So I have a few talking points that I kind of wanted to just go over with y'all just to catch y'all up with your girl. And then I also gave Instagram the opportunity to ask me whatever they wanted. And so I'll answer that at the end. So while I'm doing this, I'm actually going to do my makeup and that leads me into talking point number one. Honey, there are going to be some changes with my channel. So, and before you get along, product reviews aren't going anywhere. So what is going on here? In order to be successful on YouTube, you pretty much have to post consistently. And so my niche is natural hair. So when I started taking YouTube kind of serious was kind of around the time that I text Lex. And so I was open to posting multiple times a week, sometimes every day because their hair, I knew I was gonna cut it off anyway. And then when it came to my short hair, I didn't mind doing it every day because short hair, you can't really damage that unless you do something just outright crazy. But now that my hair is growing in, doing my hair every day, three times a week, stuff like that, that's, it's too much. It's too much on my hair. And so, although I love YouTube, I'm not willing to damage my hair for it. So there will be some changes in my channel. Product reviews aren't going anywhere. Natural hair content isn't going anywhere because it's what I love. You won't see me talking about how much I hate my natural hair or how I'm divesting from the natural hair community. What you will see is some changes in my content, meaning I'll incorporate other aspects of my personality um, on my channel. Like right now, I'm doing my makeup. That's something I actually really love doing. I'm just not used to talking while I'm doing it. I feel like I'm looking real costumey, but you know. Anyway, but you'll see um, changes in my content. Like I'll incorporate makeup. I'll incorporate a little bit of family content, but not so much because honey, people do get to being crazy. And like my family is real sacred to me. So I won't be doing too much, but y'all may see me vlog with my husband. We have a photo shoot coming up. And so you may see me vlog there, but just know I love YouTube. I have fun doing YouTube. Not only is it my hobby now, it is actually my primary source of income. With that being said, honey, mother is no longer working for anybody else. I've been so blessed with this opportunity that I have been able to become self-employed with my YouTube content. And even though I don't go too hard with sponsorship opportunities, because I try not to overwhelm y'all, because realistically, y'all know sometimes people be lying in their sponsorships and I don't want to be that person. And by getting a whole bunch of sponsorship, you bound to find something you don't like, but you under contract to say you like it. And so I don't want to do that. So I try not to go too hard with the content um, that's sponsored. But even with me being very considerate of what I do, pause, this foundation is going to show up red on camera just because right after the bottle is not a perfect match. But once it, oxidizes is a perfect match for me so if it looks crazy don't worry in the end i'm gonna bring it all together anyway um but i have been blessed to be able to walk away from my job because of youtube and i feel extremely blessed for that but so with this being my primary source of income honey mother has to continue to make content but i can't keep putting my hair in jeopardy well, for that reason you'll see some changes so if you see me doing makeup um documenting more of my fitness some of my family stuff just know it's because i really enjoy youtube but i don't want to damage my hair to entertain you get what I'm saying? All right, foundation is applied. And again, once it oxidizes, this will be a perfect match. But speaking of sponsorship, y'all will see a little bit more as it comes to wigs and clippings. Even though I try not to be overbearing with that content because realistically, a lot of y'all don't wear wigs and weave. But the reality is there are some people that do, right? Well, what's going on right now is there is a worldwide shortage on lace. And so companies are trying to find creative ways to make hair extensions that don't involve lace. That's why you see so many companies advertising and using um, influencers to promote like those headband wigs, U-part wigs and stuff like that. That's because they don't have the source of lace that they need. They're trying to avoid being bankrupt. And although not all of my subscribers watch wig content or even wear wigs, the reality is some of y'all do. And so for that reason, I was like, I'm open to doing some. Now I'm not gonna be posting weird content every week or maybe even once or once a month, but just know that at some point in time, if you see that content coming, it's not just because I'm money hungry and trying to secure the bag. It's the reality is that some of my subscribers need an alternative. Cause y'all know that the number one protective style for us is braids, but not far behind it 
is a wig. And so y'all may see that. So I have a couple of opportunities coming up. So far, I primarily work with Curls Curls just because they have integrity with me. They've given me good quality hair. I haven't had a single problem. And my subscribers haven't come back complaining saying Curls Curls have robbed them. So that is something that's important to me. So they have a few things that they are working on because they can't make as many wig products, meaning lace wigs. And so I was open to working with them on this. So I just wanted to let y'all know, not that I have to justify my sponsorship content, but I talk to y'all like family anyway. So I just want to let y'all know that lace is coming up short, clip-ins are coming out and all these different uh, alternatives. So y'all will see a little bit more of that type of sponsor content from me. So that's pretty much what I wanted to update you all on that number one, mother is now a full-time content creator. Number two, I'm going to branch out just because me being full-time, I cannot put my hair in jeopardy like that. Um, so I'm still gonna do like maybe one or two hair videos a week because I usually do my hair twice a week anyway, but to do it more often than that, I'm not willing to do that. So I'm gonna incorporate other parts of my personality on YouTube just so I can continue to make content. And then the last thing is, like I said, that wigs are pretty scarce as far as lace goes. And so companies have been hitting me up being like, hey, can you demo this to your subscribers or for anybody that's interested so that we don't die as a company. And I'm like, all right, honey, I'll help you out as long as you pay me. So, um, and it still has to be something that I actually like. And that's why I said, again, I've been primarily working with Curls Curls because I really like them. So that was all of my updates. Let me answer your questions. Kinesthetic, which is my boo-boo. If y'all not following her, you should. She's a content creator. She asked, do you feel that the pandemic has affected you mentally? If so, how? It absolutely has, honey. So... For me, I am in therapy. Not that anything is wrong, but I just feel like I wanna make sure nothing becomes wrong. And so I just like to have a safe place to vent, a safe place to really unpack my issues. But I can just say, uh, first of all, even before I let my job go, I was a work at home employee for six years. And so it never really bothered me to be a work at home employee because when time was up as far as me working my eight hour shift, I can go out, I can go see my family, I can go see my friends, I can go to my church, I could just go out and kick it, I could go shopping. And that would be my source of human interaction because it's not good that people just be trapped in their house by themselves and just, just it, it's not cool. But with me not having the ability to get up and go to the mall, just go see family, just pop up on my friends, that has become a lot because it has caused me to be home by myself a lot. And like I told you all before, some things happened with the family um, to where I had to hurry up and get back to St. Louis. Husband's job wouldn't let him go, so he's still in Texas. So we go back and forth to see each other a lot. Like we see each other often. But of course, ladies, y'all know how it is. You want your man with you. And so until that is all settled and we're able to be together full time again, we are in the position of me being at home alone and so is he. But he works in a very people facing position. So he's not by himself all day. Meanwhile, me back at the ranch, I have no company. So of course that impacts me. And so just being able to have a therapist has really been beneficial to me. And we know this is like mental health awareness time. So I definitely wanna encourage you to go and get checked up to it. Don't mean you crazy, don't mean something wrong with you, don't mean you have a problem. It just means you want to be a sound person and live your best quality of life. So if you have insurance or the ability to, to pay, definitely look into counseling. I found my therapist through therapy for black girls so having someone to unpack with especially with everything going on in the world with like brianna taylor and george floyd and just so many social justice issues to be able to unpack in a safe place with somebody who understands your language and who understands your feelings that has been so incredibly beneficial so yes I do have my moments because I'm human. I ain't a superhero. Yeah, I like to have fun, kiki, and crack jokes, but I'm not a superhero. So having a therapist to unpack in a safe environment has been super beneficial. So yeah, I have been impacted, but I have the resources around me to keep me solid. Next, Aesthetic Callie asks, how are you doing? First of all, thank you very much for asking and checking on me. Um, and I appreciate that because what I'm finding is not to say I'm some big, huge YouTuber by any means, because honey, mother ain't drinking her own Kool-Aid like that. But the reality is now that my platform has grown, I find that a lot of people look for things from me, meaning money, products for me to give them free things, to give opportunities. And sometimes I feel like people forget that I'm a person. So thank you for actually honoring my humanity and asking how I am. 
I'm honestly really good. Therapy has been good. Marriage has been good. Family has been good. Career is flourishing. I'm not rich by far, but I feel like my needs are being met. I have nothing to complain about, so. Mother is good, thank you for asking. Where do you like to shop? Honey, mother was gonna say she like Fashion Nova, but when they pulled that stunt with that Fashion Nova kids, I'm like, I got to find something else. So honestly, I just shop wherever I find cute stuff. And right now, because I'm in between sizes, I don't know where to shop. If you're not familiar, y'all, I had weight loss surgery, and so I have clothes that are super baggy. Like, my clothes don't fit, so I need to shop. But it's like, I don't wanna buy too much plus size stuff and knowing I'm at the borderline of not being able to fit it. So as far as where I like to shop right now, mother ain't shopping just because she can't. Now, before surgery, I liked Boohoo, I liked Fashion Nova, I liked Pretty Little Things. Baby, all of the Instagram boutiques, I like that because I like shopping online because I hate going to the store. If I need to go to the store, I go to like Macy's, Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack. But other than that, mother's online. How is your recovery from your weight loss surgery going? It's going really well. I'm gonna film a, a three month update when I get back from the photo shoot. So it'll be a little bit after three months, but I'll give you a full update on how I am doing. Next, how can I boost my self-confidence? Child, I had to, cause I used to deal with really bad self-esteem. Um, it didn't matter how much people complimented me, affirmed me or anything. I didn't feel good about me. So I just was in a really bad place and so, in order for me to get better, I had to desire to get better and then I had to do what they call fake it to so make it. I had to make myself say good things about myself until I started believing it. And then therapy has helped a lot in just learning why I felt bad about myself and unpacking that and getting better. So I would just say, how do you boost your self-esteem or your self-confidence? Number one, fake it till so you make it. Number two, get some therapy. What are some good skincare products, honey? More than my hair, I get asked about my skincare routine. And so I figure since I have faux locks in and I do want to continue to make content, now is the perfect time to show my skincare routine. So be looking out next week and I will show you what products I recommend because they have really helped me. What are your hobbies outside of YouTube? I love playing Uno with my family. I love to sing. I love... Well, I used to love to sew. Um, I was a huge fan, and still am a huge fan of uh, Mimi G, who is a content creator and a DIY entrepreneur. And so I started sewing. So I do like that and I wanna go back to it. And even outside of YouTube, I really, really enjoy playing in my hair. <laughs> like that is why I'm able to be so consistent on my channel is because yeah, this is an avenue for me to make money, but y'all, I really enjoy doing my hair. It's, it's just like my self care and my therapy, like doing my hair and my makeup, starting at point A, getting to point Z and putting it all together. That is how I relax. So that is what I like to do. My hair and my makeup and to sing and play on out. Next, three ways to tell if a man is really into you. Um, number one, he gonna tell you flat out um because if you gotta play guessing games and wonder where you stand with him he ain't the one number two he will be consistent in trying to prove himself to you uh meaning watch his actions and his actions will always tell if he is consistently showing you affection and the pursuit of you then that is some way to tell that he's into you and last i would say his respect for you when he's treating you with the utmost respect consistently in pursuit of you being kind to you and he flat out tell you that he is into you that's how you know because honey in 2020 we ain't got time for somebody to be dropping hints what do you want sir next how do you pray for others i've been trying to be more intentional with praying um it is something that i have a desire to do because mother is absolutely psycho when she is not spiritually aligned i get to acting crazy and stuff so i have to pray to keep balance and in my time of praying sometimes i'll see a name or a face or something and i'll know to pray for them or if i hear somebody uh, is going through something it's natural in me because i am a caretaker naturally and i'm very 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 much so an empath it is natural for me to pray for somebody just because i care so it's not a big thing it's just a habit at this point what's your favorite nail color orange next how do you navigate the world as a young black woman in today's climate, it is exceptionally difficult. But like I said, I am in therapy. I have friends who stand for something. So they are a safe place for me to vent. And just realizing, y'all, we are the most 
imitated but never duplicated people on this planet we set the trends that other people aspire to be like we are them gals and so because i honestly believe that i can look at the negativity that the world has for us and still keep a positive mind simply because i'm like y'all hate us because y'all ain't us and that's literally my attitude do you ever feel like you want to be single but get around your husband and feel happy to be in a relationship I wouldn't say I feel like I want to be single and then get around him and that change. I would say it is natural for anybody in a relationship or a marriage to get on each other's last nerves. I get on his nerves, he get on mine. So yeah, there are times where I want my space, but to say I didn't want him or that I wanted to be single again, nah. Next, what motivated you to do YouTube videos? I had alopecia areata and the doctor told me that I would never get my hair back. And so the fact that I was able to get it back against all medical odds, I wanted to share my story and give people hope that maybe if they was in the same situation, that it could be a positive end for them as well. And so as I was doing that, I found that more and more people were finding my channel and I was just like, okay, well, let me show you some tips on how to grow your hair. Honey, some of my old videos that are now private, I did like the inversion method onion oil for hair girl i did a lot of stuff because i was just trying to help people so that was why i started youtube i just wanted to be of help and then next thing you know i moved away from home to go be with my husband because we're from st louis we moved to texas and i didn't have an outlet there because like i was by myself a lot because i didn't know anybody and so the few people i did know they were literally you could be in the dallas area and live like an hour and 15 minutes away from each other so i was alone a lot and so youtube became a creative outlet for me to not feel so alone and then next thing you know things took off if you could travel one place on vacation where would it be i want to go to santorini greece will you ever do a nail routine yes i will especially like i said i have to stretch outside of hair so since i do like nails it's only natural for me to do a nail video like even though i want to make content i want to make stuff that i actually like that i find beneficial to me um that may be beneficial to you and i think a press on nail video may be good because i know some of us with good sense is still too scared to go to the nail shop while other of us don't care nothing about rona and they going to get their nails done no judgment honey no judgment all the judge what are your fall go-to styles honestly braids with me being a content creator i kind of can't get braids as much as i would like to but i love braids twists faux locks all of that the more i can put my hair away as the seasons change and get colder because it's harder to keep it moisturized the better for me so i do want to get more braids and twists and faux locks in the fall next how do i find the right products for my 4c hair hey you find the right products by realizing your curl pattern has nothing to do with how the products works for you Honestly, the curl typing system is the biggest scam that ever hit the natural hair community. It was created by a man who, uh, he wasn't the most positive when it came to natural hair. So the things that matter the most when it comes to your product selection is your density and your porosity because certain porosities respond better to different oils and stuff and they don't respond as well to others and so it's just figuring out what your porosity is and doing a little research to see what ingredients work best for their porosity don't think of it as, as this is what's best for 4c hair because listen somebody could be 4c and have thick coarse strands and somebody else can be 4c and have fine strands and they need totally different things. So the texture of your strands, meaning coarse or fine, your density and your porosity are the things that matter. Don't think about it as being 4C. Next, any tips on how to communicate productively with your partner? Um, I'm assuming that you're a woman. So I will say this. Sometimes men don't listen that well when it comes to you being emotional. So I would just say, the best thing to do is calmly express how you feel. Now, you are, you a person, you are, you have every right to your emotion, but I will just say, when you can, speak as calmly as you can so that you thoroughly get your point across. And if they love you and respect you, they should be willing to listen. You shouldn't have to go through theatrics or yell to get your point across. Now, is that realistic all the time? No, because two people that love each other, they gonna get in their feelings sometimes and they are going to clash. 
But just know when the clashing moment is over, it is still just a moment that y'all still love each other. Come back and apologize as quickly as possible. And just to remember, this person is not your sparring partner. This is your partner for life. And yeah, because y'all are two different people with two different realities, there may be moments where y'all have different opinions and y'all might argue. Just know that that's completely normal. Just as long as you all don't disrespect each other and your disagreements, then you are right. Can we get some merch and a Fantasy City podcast? Yes and yes. Next, as a 50 plus year old woman who is still a virgin, do you think at her age she should lose her before or keep it? I think that in this sexually driven society, that if you are still a virgin, it is probably for a reason, meaning a belief system. So whatever your belief system is, age should not impact your ability to walk out that belief. So if you are waiting for marriage, your age should not impact that. I think remove age and just think of why you are in that position and hold fast to those beliefs. And if you end up giving it up, no judgment for me because I know that again, we're in a very sexually driven society, but I would just say, don't think of it as I'm 50, I should be doing X, Y, Z because everybody's path is different. Do what works for you in your heart and what you believe to be right. Next, being an entrepreneur, no nine to five. This is a very new walk for me because like I just told you all, um, I just became an entrepreneur and it can be scary because I'm used to having the security of a nine to five and knowing when my check gonna come and how much it's gonna be and how much Uncle Sam gonna take. And now it's like, because I'm working for myself, I have to make very responsible decisions. I don't have the leeway to just be out here blowing it back, except I do have the covering of my husband who will always have my back. But the reality is because I am self-employed, I have to take greater caution when it comes to taxes and greater caution when it comes to making sure I have the right expenses. And like, you have to be a little bit more cautious. And so it is discipline. You have to work even harder because you don't have the security of a corporation behind you, but it is the most freeing and rewarding journey that I have ever experienced. And so I would just say, if you are willing to do the work, do it. But just know, because you don't have a team behind you, life is gonna be just that much harder and you gotta grind that much harder, but it is worth it if you work it. Next, are you still friends with who you grew up with? All of my friends I have been friends with for 15 years or more to where we know each other's dirt and honey we ain't got no choice but to stay friends because listen it's like that but my friends are my sisters i consider them family i have a lot of associates but i have like four really good girlfriends and i've known most of them from the time i was born but then one of my other best friends i've known her since i was a sophomore in high school keep in mind i graduated in 2003 so yes my friends from childhood are still my friends today next you mentioned that you're a singer can you do your hair routine while you sing it absolutely not because that's not what y'all coming here for i'm the type that at times i feel uncomfortable when other people start singing and i didn't come here to hear that I'd be like girl i'm here to watch a mukbang why are you singing hello i don't want to hear that girl that wasn't supposed to come out and if you know who i'm talking about do not put it in the comments next anyway uh i might sing on youtube one day but that day won't be today next how is your fertility journey going okay so number one i'm not pregnant we're not trying just yet but the reality is we know exactly when we're going to start trying we already picked out the date and uh i know exactly when i'm going to start taking my folic acid um but i would not share that with youtube until i'm later on in the pregnancy now the reason i say that is because i am a huge supporter of jayla majet and if you don't know who she is she's a youtube content creator and towards the end of her pregnancy she actually had to get offline because she said she felt like it was a lot of pressure because every day somebody was like when is the baby coming? When is the baby coming? And she was just like, I guess y'all don't realize it takes 10 months for this little baby to get here. And so she had to preserve her personal peace by getting offline. And so I just feel like whenever the time comes where I am pregnant, I probably won't tell y'all until I'm about five or six months or until my face is so swollen to where I can't help but to come clean <laughs> because y'all gonna know something else. Um, so I do respect people who ask about the journey versus asking me, are you pregnant? Because that to me is just like, the inner workings of my uterus are not your business, but I do appreciate the love and support because so many people are rooting for me and my husband and I appreciate the love that y'all show 
as well as y'all's ability to respect my boundaries. All right, honey, so that is the finished result of me just playing in my makeup and coming in to talk to y'all, see how y'all was doing, let y'all know how I was doing, and kind of update y'all on some things. So again, y'all will see more content other than just hair content. You may see a few more wigs and extension videos, but that is just because lace is almost done. It's almost gone for everybody. So companies are trying to get options out to people who need extensions. So you may see me doing some clip-ins, some U-part wigs, some half wigs, just because people need options right now. So just be patient with me. So other than that, that was it. I really just wanted to come in, say hi, see how y'all was doing, and talk with you. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. Me love you long time. Maki Dada, and I'm out of here.